This video will demonstrate the workflow for a full denture set based on scanning existing dentures. Start on the patient's page. Create the patient. Then select New Case. Select the lab. The order form will appear. Click on the removable drop down list to select Full Denture. Now click on any tooth on the chosen jaw to apply your selection. Now do the same for the opposite jaw. Finally, set the delivery date by clicking the Delivery Date button. Now proceed to the scan page and select the preferred scanning option from the pop-out. In our case, we select the Copy Denture option. The other options are Intraoral Scan and Impression Scanning. If needed, the option can be reselected again before scanning. Just click on one of the scanning option icons. Start the scanner. AI Scan should be disabled for this type of scanning. The best scanning strategy for copied denture is to start from the retromolar area on one side, scanning along the occlusal surface of the teeth, wiggling across the incisal edges of the incisors, and then again along the occlusal surfaces of the retromolar area on the other side. Once that is completed, proceed along lingually until you reach the last molar. Behind the last molar, turn to the buccal aspect and go along it until you reach the last molar on the opposite side. When that is completed, scan across the thickest area of the denture margin. When you cross over the borders of the sulcus, stop the scanner and allow the software to optimize the scan. Wait until the spinning wheel has stopped. When ready, continue scanning from the place where you have paused. Now go along the margin, scanning the inside of the denture. When scanning is complete, you can inspect the result on both sides. If an important area is missing, simply start scanning the area again. Now proceed to the upper jaw. A pop-up gives you the possibility to select the preferred scanning option. In our case, we select Copy Denture. However, other options can be selected instead, since the scan type can be cross-combined from upper to lower. Start scanning at the tuberosity area on one side and scan along the occlusal surface of the teeth, wiggling across the incisal edges of the incisors and then again along the occlusal surfaces to the tuberosity area of the opposing side. Then scan back along the buccal aspect of the denture, turning to the lingual side behind the last molar to scan along it. When it is done, scan the palatal part of the denture once that is completed, proceed to the canine area, or the thickest part of the denture margin, and start scanning into the inside of the denture. When you cross over to the sulcus, stop the scanner, and allow the software to optimize the scan. When ready, start scanning from the place where you have stopped. Go along the denture margin, making sure that the undercuts created by the residual ridge are scanned. Then, scan across the inside of the palatal side. When scanning is complete, you can inspect the result on both sides. If an important area is missing, simply start scanning the area again. Now move to the Bite Scan page. Place the dentures into the patient's mouth and scan the bite. That can be the current denture bite or any other construction bite. Ask the patient to open their mouth. Position the scanner between the first and second molar on the buccal side. Align the scan area to cover 50% of both the upper and lower teeth. Ask the patient to bite or set the construction bite. After a few clicks, slowly move the tip while scanning. Keep scanning until both arches snap into position. Scan three to four teeth for perfect alignment, even if the scans snap together earlier. 
for a full arch case, repeat the procedure on the opposite side. Make sure that the patient achieves the same bite position again. When the alignment is done, you have the possibility to realign if necessary. Otherwise, proceed and send the case to the chosen lab. Thank you for watching.